What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. In the last episode, we killed uh, Milner, I think his name was. Um, let's check the database. Enemies. No, no. Malcolm Milner, yep. We killed this guy here. Uh, and apparently we found out that... Um, no, 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 no. Um, Pearl. We found out that Pearl Attaway is actually um, Crawford Sterick's cousin. So she is actually a Templar. So at some point, we're going to have to find her and kill her. Um, hmm. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it says here that Ned Winnert, um, chose to, like, dress up as a man. So, I guess a transgender character in a game. That's cool. I mentioned that, like, two episodes ago, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, anyway, um, yeah, in the last episode we found out that Pearl Attaway is actually a Templar, and, uh, we're gonna have to kill her at some point. Um, I'm pretty sure we did something else as well. What else did we do? I said we killed Milner. Um, oh, uh, we were helping Alexander Graham Bell with a mission, and he gave us these new Vaultic bombs, which, um, when thrown out, they emit an electric burst, <coughs> which can stun our enemies. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in this episode... Um, what are we going to do? Well, this, I imagine. It's fast travel there, because it's as close as I can get to it right now. Okay, lovely London, and our mission is, oh, right there. How about that? Just uh, drop down, you'll be fine. So, what was that, Clara? Uh, Evie visits Lambeth. Oh, so we're playing as Evie after Jacob's assassination of Dr. Elliotson. That was forever ago. But yeah, it's Clara. You alright there, kiddo? Do you need a hand with something? Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. I came to... Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. 
but without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. Am I timed? I mean, yeah, I'm concerned for her, but I really don't want this to be a timed mission. <coughs> and it's a timed mission. Well, ain't that a bitch. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to hop in this carriage, like, now. Okay. Um, so during that cutscene, I just looked up um, something kind of intriguing. Well, not really intriguing, but just a little... A little odd, I guess, but uh, it's not that odd. Um, but apparently, um, later on, Clara actually married Jacob Fry. Um, I'm pretty sure currently, Jacob and Evie are 20, maybe early 20s. Um, I think Clara, she looks like she's 9, but I think it said that she was like 12 at this point here. Um, I could be wrong, maybe she's like... Oh, it's this dude. I need to... Do not kill him, okay? Um... Can I... Just steal! Shit, 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 not... Got it! Oh, become anonymous! Eat... Eat a... No, you son of a... Well... Whatever. Uh, fuck. Wasn't trying to kill him. But yeah, it said that Clara was apparently apparently married Jacob. Um, yeah, and I think they had. Um, I feel like oh, I remember. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember now. Okay, I will. I'm not gonna spoil much from this, but there's a specific um, section in the game here, uh, and this it, I think it's like a. It's sort of like a side mission, but also not really. Um, I will be showing that... Let's well, Clara will die if the asylum is not reached in time. I'm working on it. But, uh, yeah, there's a certain mission involving a specific character. Um, where's this pharmacist? Oh, he's right there. Um, yeah, involving a specific character, and I will show off that mission... So you can see what I'm talking about, but um, the character in that that you play as is uh, well, it's someone that's related to Jacob in a way. These for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get Oh, give me a break. Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. God. Giggity. God damn it. Hijack the cart in less than one minute. You gotta be yanking me right now, man. That's some bullcrap. How do my way? <coughs> come on, come on. Evie, don't screw me over. Come on. Clara needs my help. I can't let her die. Get off. Eh, hey, I, I did it. I, uh... Oh shit! Oh, we literally like right went right by the uh, the hospital. And of course, that guy over there is keeps still keeps chasing me. Just die, you piece of crap! Turn! I will save you, Clara. If, I mean, you're my sister-in-law. Well, Evie's sister-in-law, technically. Uh. And Jacob's future wife, apparently. You're back. And not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Ellie, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? 
I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Ugh. I didn't mean to kill the guy. <sighs> Fuck. Whatever. But, um... Something doesn't add up right here. <clears throat> it says here that... Um... Hang on. 18... So Clara was born in 1856. Um... When does, uh... Okay. Alright, so... Yes, yeah, she was born in 1856. Um... And this game takes place in 1868, so currently she is 12. Probably 13, or maybe going on 13. And... Uh... Jacob is... Uh, hang on a second. No, I don't want that. Um, Jacob was born in 1847, and it is 1868. Yeah, so he's, he's 20, like 21, somewhere around then. So he's about eight years older than her. Yeah. I was, I was thinking that there was a major age difference, but I'm wrong. It's only like eight, it's only eight years. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is now, currently, but, uh. You know, give it another, I don't know, ten years, and then they would get married. Which I find kind of weird, because in the beginning of the game, Jacob and Clara bicker so much. So, yeah. <coughs> um, I see a gold chest. I want that gold chest. I didn't even have to hop in the carriage to get it, but I just felt like it. Gold chest, where are ya? What? Um. Is that it? Don't tell me it's actually inside the building. I don't want to have to go inside and look around for that thing. Please tell me that's just like... Nope, it's inside. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I, um... I mean... I should be able to get in, though. Like, it's... I have this here. Like, don't I have the the ability to pick do lock pick doors now? Yeah, except... Like, Wait, open most doors in London except doors requiring a, oh, a master key. I need a master key to get in. I see. <coughs> uh, what the hell? Mm, inventory. Oh, screw you and your capes. Uh, Alright, but what's next on uh, my agenda of things to do? 2,500 experience. Let's go. Um, where's the, uh, ah, right there. Alright, uh, where is the thing? 
I don't know why it always takes it off my marker. It's so stupid. No, I don't want to freaking. I don't want to mark the damn shop. Just hop down, stupid. Good God. There a train coming? No, good. I ain't trying to get run over today. Boy, I'm glad that was there. Yeah. <clears throat> but what is this? The what is this? Ooh. Hey little dude. Thanks. Um Oh. Guess I'm going to be playing as Jacob this time around. Sir, the engine just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they can unload the train. I not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. No, stop it. This, of course, is still the damn marker there. What the? Um, it's up there. Um, give me a second here. I'll get that. And I will also grab this. Ooh. Um. I'll grab that. And. Yeah. I'll hold off for a couple more points. Actually, I'm pretty sure after this level I'll get two more upgrade points and then can buy that and then I'll be level eight. And then that'll be all of Jacob's upgrades, and the rest is shared among them. Except for Evie's upgrades. Find an entry point, huh? Is that what you need me to do? Well, what if I don't want to? What if I just let everyone be killed by Steric? I mean, he seems like a nice guy. He has a stylish mustache, and, uh... In a trustworthy face. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall to my death. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the delay. We will get you into the central station very soon. Where the hell is that schedule? Central station's closed. Attaway's orders. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming for you, Miss Attaway. Um. Hmm. What are you going to do for me? Create, he creates big crowds near the target. The conductor leads travelers. Okay. Once the order comes through, we will send you on your Hi. way to the central. I have urgent business in the central station. You may attend to that business. Steal the train schedule. Um. Okay, I can do that. I also see something over here. I'll steal the train schedule first. Maybe that'll provide some help. Oh. What's up? I probably should have uh, checked around a bit more before just diving straight in. But, you know, screw it. I'll do what I want. 
All right. Now what? Speak to the conductor. Well then. What's up? Just uh, stab you real quick. Oh. Hi. Leave me alone, you see nothing. I am anonymous, you friggin' twit. My friggin' lady wouldn't leave me alone. Become anonymous. What are you talking about? I am anonymous. My colleague should be here shortly with the schedule for the central station. Okay, now I'm just mad. Is it this idiot here that's uh, still not still making it seem like I'm not anonymous? Yeah, I guess so. Well, now you get this. That is your treatment. You could have just uh, could have just let it be, but no. You had to make things so difficult. Here's your damn schedule. Oh, I... Thank you. Attention, passengers! All trains are being diverted to Central Station. What? Move out of the way, you friggin' idiots! Central Station. I need to get to the, to the Central Station. Okay, where the hell's the Central Station? I was not really paying attention at all to what he was asking of me. I see these two idiots. And a couple guys over here. Um. All right. So, what does this do for me? Unique kill available. To Thomas Logan, attached to this letter are the blueprints for Miss Attaway's fortified wagon. As requested, the highlighted weakness is a result of specifications made by a member of your team. Their name is not in our records. Regards, Matthew Hughes. Okay, so I suppose I can just run up and kill her now. Just like that guy. Um, quite a large number of people, though. It's Good, uh... Ah, there we go. Assassinate! Surprise! What a shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Ours is most certainly dissolved. It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be... unpleasant when he's cross. I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses. Well, you're losing a little more than just your buses, sweetheart. For example, you're losing blood. Alright, so now I can escape the train. Um... Where'd her body go? It just disappeared. I was gonna try to loot her body, maybe she had something of value on her, but I guess not. Let's get out of here.
This is probably going to turn into some weird Final Destination type shit. There's a bunch of people on the train. They're all supposed to die that day. But then one guy just gets off. And it's like, oh no, I can see the future. And a bunch of people are going to die on the train. What the hell are you guys carrying? Oops. I didn't use any of that. To didn't do any of the challenges. Oh well. Am I gonna hop out the Animus? So I'm pretty sure that was the end of sequence 5. Nope. Just Crawford chilling out. disturb him. I actually was enjoying his singing. It sounded very nice. To break your own to see such a moment I would ask that you remember me that you Crawford. A luster stripped by the hands of that savage. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. Compassion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. But we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows. And I will flay her brother as he comes to save her. I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone protect this city of light. Yes, Crawford. And then we shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. A letter for me? I cannot for the life of me find where that letter is. Every time I enter the friggin' train, and Jacob or Eve is like, Oh, there's a letter here! It's like, well, where the hell is it? So now it's time for us to begin sequence six. Having uncovered her master plan, Jacob assassinated Pearl Hathaway and recovered the internal combustion engine. That's what they were carrying. The internal combustion engine from the Templars. Now, a mysterious letter leads Jacob to a plot that could put all London's gold in jeopardy. While Evie forms a new plan to strike back at Lucy Thorne and reclaim the key to the Shroud of Eden. What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager Dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. 
don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. A letter? For me? Shut up, Jacob. Alright, so there's a mission here for Evie. Another one here for Jacob. Um... Oh, and there's another mission here for Evie as well. Over there in the corner. Um... Okay, uh... No. But, um... Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out what I'm trying to do here. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to hit subscribe. And then hit the notification bell to know when I'm uploading next. If you know anyone who may enjoy this content, then obviously share it with them. And uh, if you like the videos, make sure to take a look at some of the other stuff I got. I got tons of, uh, tons of other videos. I got Assassin's Creed videos, Batman Arkham videos. Uh, I have a new story video up. Well... Depending on when uh, this video goes up, that video will probably be up. The story video will probably be up for about like a, I don't know, two, three weeks. I don't know. But uh, that story video will already have been up. I'm making new story videos now. That's that's the point I'm trying to make here. <laughs> but yeah, there's plenty of other videos. It's all, it's all good stuff. Why don't you take a look at it? Once again, I'll say thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.